Watching the Olympic Games on television will be just fine for a Clarence couple because they're hoping to see their grandson in Tokyo. And that grandson, he just graduated from high school. Our Steve Brown has the story. But is it soaked in that, you know, your grandson's potentially an Olympian at age yeah. 18? No. <laughs> no. But Tom and Donna France of Clarence will be glued to their TV when their grandson Hobbs Kessler competes at the U.S. Olympic track and field qualifiers later this week. Heady stuff for a young man who just graduated high school in Ann Arbor, Michigan. From the time he was an infant, he was, his parents were always running and other people would come over and they'd go off running and so it was always a part of his life. Hobbs mother is runner and Clarence native Serena Kessler, who was inducted into the Clarence High School Wall of Fame. Now, before this year, Kessler's primary sport was climbing. He went to the International Climbing Championships in Italy, representing the United States as one of the top three climbers in 2019. But last year when the pandemic hit, Kessler's climbing gym closed. What was left was running, and he got really good really fast. In February, he broke the national high school record for the indoor mile. Then, as you can see in this video from Youth Runner magazine, Kessler competed at the Portland Track Festival in the 1500 meter race against some of the top runners in the country. You'll see him emerge from the pack at the finish and quickly check his time. He smashed the high school record with a faster time than the current NCAA record. That time also earned him a spot at the Olympic qualifiers, an opportunity for this very talented teenager to make the U.S. track and field team. His grandparents think Hobbs is in a no-lose situation. He's so young that no matter what he does now, if he has a bad day, it doesn't matter because he's so young, he'll have many good days down the road. And the 2024 Paris Games, they're right around the corner. In Clarence, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.